are you ready for Magic with Mr. Isaac? In today's trick, I am going to make this ball disappear. Exactly. So I have this normal brown bag. Miss Tristan, can you look at the brown bag? Is it normal? It is normal. It is normal. It looks completely normal. So I'm going to open up the bag. Here we go. Opening up. Opening up the bag. There we go. And I am going to put this ball inside the bag. All right, Miss Tristan, is it in there? The ball is in the bag. Yes, it is. Okay. Now, guys, as we look, we are going to see that the ball has completely, completely disappeared. Yeah. Guys, yeah. where did it go? I have no idea. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that is it. Is it in here? It's not. Um. It's not in there. Well. Where did it go? It disappeared. Guys, this was a magic trick. Magic trick. Actually, this was just a trick because. I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. So welcome to Bridge Kids Online. We are going to see how I did this illusion and this trick. Now, when I first showed you the bag, it looked completely normal. Totally normal, like a perfectly regular paper bag. But guys, oh, look at the back. There was a hole in the back. So when I grabbed the ball and I put it in while you weren't looking, I snuck it out. <gasps> the back. Everybody say, what? Whoa! Now, today we are going to learn how Jesus did an amazing miracle. How he was in the tomb for three days. But did he stay in there? No! After three days, he rose again and the tomb was empty. But guess what? What? It was not a magic trick. No, it was not. It was not a magic trick. This actually happened. No one told a lie. No one did a trick. Jesus actually rose from the dead. So we are going to see that in our story today. But first we've got to go to the Bible, Bible Timeline! We started at creation at the beginning. We are going through the whole Bible and ending in Revelation. Now we are in the New Testament, the second part of the Bible. Yes, the New Testament we've been learning all about Jesus' life and ministry on earth. And last week we learned about how Jesus died on the cross. But, but did he stay dead? No, he did not stay dead. He is alive. So today we are learning about the dun, 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 dun. resurrection. Now we are going to see how Jesus is alive. He is not dead and we get to celebrate that. On the third day after Jesus died on the cross, Jesus' friend Mary went to the tomb early in the morning. Mary saw that the big stone had been moved away from the entrance. Mary ran to Peter and John. They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and I do not know where his body is, she said. Peter and John ran to the tomb. John looked inside and saw linen cloths lying there. Peter went inside the tomb and saw the cloths too. The cloth that had been around Jesus' head was folded up. John believed that Jesus was alive. Then John and Peter ran home. Mary went back to the tomb and cried. She looked inside and saw two angels. Why are you crying? They asked. They've taken away my Lord and I don't know where they put him, Mary said. Then Mary turned and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know it was him. She thought the man was a gardener. Why are you crying? Jesus asked. Who are you looking for? Mary said, Sir, if you have taken away Jesus, tell me where he is and I will go get him. Jesus said, Mary. Mary looked at him and said, Teacher. Jesus sent Mary to tell the other disciples that he was going back to the Father. Mary did what Jesus said, and she told the disciples, I have seen the Lord. While this was happening, some of the soldiers who were guarding the tomb went into the city and told the religious leaders what happened. The leaders gave the soldiers money and told them to lie about what they had seen. They told them to say that Jesus' disciples stole his body while they were sleeping. So the soldiers took the money and told everyone that Jesus never rose from the dead. Wow, what an amazing story about how Jesus rose from the dead. He is not dead. He is alive. Can you say that with me? He, he is, is alive. alive. Exactly. Jesus is alive and he wants a relationship with you. you. 
Yes. So we can have that relationship when we invite him into our lives. When we say, God, I'm sorry for the things I've done that have disappointed you. I want to follow you. And do we tell you the best part of that? What? What's he the best part? He forgives us. He forgives us of our sin because he loves us. In fact, he loved us so much that he sent his only son to die for us. Absolutely. That's amazing. We know that Jesus died on the cross to save us from our sins, but he rose from the dead and it wasn't a magic trick. No. This was real. Uh, yes, it was. So we can celebrate that we serve an amazing God. So before we go, let's have a word of prayer and thank him for everything he has done in three, two, one. Father God, thank you. Lord, thank you for sending your son to earth so that we can have a relationship with you. Thank you for sending us a savior who died but isn't dead anymore because he is alive. Be with us today. Keep us safe. In your name we pray. Aubridge kids say, Amen. Amen. Now guys, if you want to do this magic trick, you can do it super easily. Just grab a brown bag, cut a hole in the back so you can't see it. Grab a ping pong ball, a rock, anything that you have. A piece of candy. Exactly. Ooh, make that disappear. And then right there and you can amaze your family and amaze your friends. And this is a great way to tell them the amazing news of Jesus being alive. Absolutely. And we would love to see your amazing magic trick creations. So make sure if you make a magic trick to tag us at Bridge Kids Ministry so we can see your magic trick. Now don't forget to subscribe below. Hello, hit that button so you don't miss a single episode of Bridge Kids Online. But guys, until next time, we will see you later. Bye.